The history of sorority and fraternity life, both on the UT Austin campus and nationally, provides some really interesting insights to help us better understand our communities today. The first fraternal organization was the Kappa, Kappa Alpha Society for Men, founded in 1825. Women's organizations followed soon after with the Adelphian Society, later known as Alpha Delta Pi, being founded in 1851. These two early organizations paved the way for many other fraternal and sorority organizations. In 1883, when the University of Texas opened, fraternal organization was founded that same year and several others soon followed after. From those early days, higher education became more prevalent in the United States, and with it, so did sororities and fraternities. And as students outside of your typical male, white, Christian student began to access higher education, fraternal organizations for specific students' identities also began to form as they seek connection and community on their campuses. Um, we see particularly at the turn of the century, Black Greek letter organizations being founded both for men and for women. And we also see umbrella organizations as more and more individual organizations begin to form and wanted to combine their interests and support one another, joining with other organizations, such as the National Pain Hellenic Conference and the North American Infraternity Conference. On UT's campus, our first women's organization was founded in 1902, and our first Pain Hellenic organization for sororities and fraternities was founded in 1904. Later on in the 20th century, even more students from more different backgrounds began to access college and higher education. And they also founded fraternal organizations specific to their cultural communities and interests, such as Asian interest organizations and Latino and Latina based organizations. In the mid 1950s, we see the first black Greek letter organizations founded on UT's campus. The first undergraduate black students came to campus in 1956 and soon after were founding sororities and fraternities to create support networks for those students with our National Pain Hellenic Council being founded in 1965. In the period of the late 60s through the mid 80s, as the, both the university and the nation was ex experiencing a really big societal change with the civil rights movement, there was a period of time where some of our organizations in Pain Hellenic and IFC were not recognized and registered with the university, because at that time they were not able to share with the university what their membership policies were, and at the time they were not open to students from all different backgrounds. As that time came to a close and at that transition finally ended in the mid-1980s, those organizations came back on campus and we saw even more of a proliferation of our multicultural community on campus with our first Asian interest organizations, Latinx interest, and multicultural organizations all being found in the 1990s. Moving on through the early 2000s, the culturally based community became even larger and more vibrant and those count specific councils began to form as well. With our Latino Pain Hellenic Council, Texas Asian Pain Hellenic Council and Multicultural Greek Council all being founded by 2010. And history really is still being made in the last three years, a lot of major events have happened on campus and nationally to make us question and shape the future of sorority and fraternity life. And even now in this present moment, as our organizations are changing the way that we're operating to a virtual environment and really reflecting on our purpose and our current impact on the campus community, history is still being made today. <laughs>